Hello guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're not gonna do crafts today. Crazy, right? So today we're gonna do a little cooking. I watch um, a channel he that's based here in Maine. Uh, it's called Maniac's, Maniac Grammy's Homestead. And she put out an open collaboration for uh, to buy some Dollar Tree food and to make up a meal with that. And so while I was in there the other day, I thought of it and I grabbed a few items to put together and see if I could make something really delicious and join the collaboration. So I grabbed a Hungry Jack cheddar and bacon potatoes box. It, it's a family size, so I thought this would be good for my to start my meal with. So I also got some Comfort Creek Foods dumplings and chicken. They had that, they didn't have a lot in there. They had this, sounded good. So, um, uh, and I also got some Libby's Whole Kernel Sweet Corn. And so we're gonna be putting this all together and making a one, a one dish meal, which will be really yummy, I hope. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. Um, so first we're going to start out with uh, doing the Hungry Jack Cheddar and Bacon Potatoes. We're going to cook them as the directions say on the back in a pot, everything all together with a little milk and butter and we'll see how that comes out. Okay, so I have a pot on the stove and the directions say uh, combine the potato slices, sauce mix, water, milk and butter in a three quart saucepan. Uh, and heat just to boiling, stirring occasionally. Uh, simmer for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally until potatoes are tender and sauce has thickened. Let stand for five minutes prior to serving. So that's how we're gonna do this. I've got um, two and a half cups of water in my pan already. I'm going to dump in, this is what the potato uh, flakes or cuttings or chips or whatever you wanna call them look like. They do kind of look like chips. But anyway, we're gonna put those all in here and I took the packet out already, the cheese packet. I'm assuming the bacon's in there as well. So we'll get those in there. I've got the heat turned on and then it says we want two tablespoons of butter. I have some canned butter here. So we're gonna just grab out two tablespoons-ish. There, put that in there and let that melt. And then three fourths of a cup of milk. There's some milk here. And this is a one fourth cup, so I need to do three of these to make it three quarter cups. Two and three. And then we've got the packet. I'm assuming it's the cheese and the bacon in here. So let's see. Oh yeah, that's it then in there. I don't know if I see any bacon, but maybe it's just bacon flavoring. Okay. And then we're gonna stir. it all in. There we go. Oh yeah, I do see some bacon bits in there. There's a few. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. There's a couple bacon bits right there on the end. So that's good. There's quite a few in there actually. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let this get to a boil and cook it for 15 minutes, and then we will come back. Okay, so while that is cooking, I'm going to take my chicken and dumplings can and open it up and pour it into my bowl here. Let's 
get it all out, all the chicken and everything. All right, and then I already opened and drained my corn, so I took all the water out. And we're gonna pour this whole can in here. And we're gonna save these cans because we can do some crafts with these later on. All right, now we're gonna stir this together. Get it mixed in. It's gonna be a lot of corn in here, but that's okay. Corn's good for you. All right, so that is all ready for our potatoes. Okay, now we're gonna add a little cooking spray to our pan that we're going to bake in. This is gonna go in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes or so. So we sprayed that and then I'm gonna pour this onto the pan. And spread it out. So. Okay. okay, the cheddar cheese is all cooked, cheddar cheese potatoes, um, and I'm going to pour it over the top here. The only thing that I changed about the directions is I'm not going to let it sit five minutes and thicken. I want it to stay a little bit uh, loose so that it will go kind of in the crevices and kind of encase um, the chicken and dumpling and corn. So we're going to pour these over the top. Mm. Wow, that's really a lot of, that's really a lot of potato. For a dollar, that's a pretty good deal. Okay. So then I just kind of smooth it all over and cover the whole thing. All right, we're gonna sprinkle a little parsley over the top. Just a little bit. And then this is gonna go in the oven at 425. We're gonna do about 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't need to cook, it just needs to kind of work in all together. So we're gonna see what happens, maybe brown up some of this potato on the top. So we'll do, uh, I'll check it after 15 minutes and see how well it looks. And if I like it, it'll come out. If not, we're gonna go for another five minutes and see how that does. So 15 to 20 minutes. So let's see what we got. Okay, so here it is guys. Looks really delicious. It's a little bit browned on top, but not a lot, but it has like a, a nice um, skin over it, so of the cheese. So that's pretty exciting. So we're gonna cut into it. I'm gonna try some of this. We're gonna call this cheddar bacon potato surprise. Cause all you see is the potato, but inside it's got corn and um, chicken and dumplings. All right, so let's see if we can move this out of the way a little bit so you can see my plate. This is still really hot. I let it sit for a while. This cooked for 20 minutes. You could have gone a little longer if you wanted it even more brown on top. Um, so I'm gonna put a little Sprinkle a little bit of cheese. I don't have any cheddar cheese, but I, this is like a Fiesta mix. So I'm gonna put a little bit of more cheese on top, sprinkle it on there. And then I have a little bit of sour cream. We're gonna put a little sour cream on the, on the side. Or a lot. All right, and we're gonna put a little bit of uh, parsley. Some more parsley just to pretty it up. Look at that, yummy, delicious. All right, let's get a little bit of the sour cream and a little bit of the potato and all the stuff inside. There it is, 
Yummy? Or not? Mm. Oh, that's very yummy. I like it with a sour cream. That's really good. That's pretty darn good. Mmm. Mmm. I got a little dumpling in with that one. Oh, man. Wow. That's really delicious. I really like it. Yummy. So I think that would be really good for just a regular meal or you could put it for a side and just have that extra kind of hide the vegetables. Maybe the kids don't like veggies, so you can kind of hide it in there underneath the potatoes. Maybe they'd still eat it. Anyway, that was really good. And it wasn't that hard to make. You just follow the directions and mix up what's in the cans. Put in whatever vegetables that you like. Um, I had corn or they had corn there, so I just used that corn. Um, it came out really tasty. I really like it. So thanks for joining me, guys. And thanks to Maniac Grandma Grammy's Homestead for having this collaboration. If you want to see some more uh, channels that have joined the collaboration and some more of their yummy meals that they have made from Dollar Tree products, put in hashtag Grammy's Dollar Tree Meals and more. And that should bring up any of the channels that have put in some meals for her collaboration. Uh, she also, and I will link her channel in the description below, she also has them listed, I believe, in her description underneath her original collaboration video, I believe. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I appreciate you coming by. Have a great day. And hey, if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see some crafting, click here.